Good morning, friends. You guys remember I bought some containers? Well, I want to share with you how I'm going to use them today. I am getting ready to organize a little bit here in this cabinet and share some decor as well. I love these containers from Target because they are so tall and thin and they take up very little space as compared to the round jars. So that's what I'm going to be using. Now this other one I just use for like leftovers in the fridge and they look really beautiful. As you can see here, I have poured the jar, complete round jar, into this container. And I still have a lot of space to pour some more rice in there. So it'll probably hold about one and a half of these in one. So now that I have removed the round jars, I only left a couple in there, which I'll be getting rid of as well, but I ran out. So I probably have to head back to Target sometime and pick up some more. Otherwise, I'll have to resort to using water bottles, as you see here. This is so cute. My kids thought it was adorable. <laughs> we also went to the 99 cent store and I picked up some of these cookies. My, these are my husband's favorites. I love them too. But these are cookies that are strawberry filled and they're really delicious, especially for the holidays. I don't buy them all the time, but usually during the holidays. Now this red enchilada sauce, it is to die for. It makes for great cheese or chicken enchiladas. It has to be this brand because that is my favorite and I loved it. So I couldn't believe it when I saw it for 99 cents. But you have to be careful because if you're not into the hot, this was the hot one. But they do have medium and mild. Now this is just whole wheat bread. I've never tried it from the 99 cent store. So we're going to give it a whirl and I'll let you know at another time how it comes out. One of the things I like to think ahead is Thanksgiving. I like to check on my serving ware, my measuring cups and things like that. And so I found these for $2.99 at the 99 cent store and I thought that was a great deal. Mainstay is a pretty good brand. I think I've seen this at Target or I want to say maybe Big Lots. But it has a really nice sheen. They're silver and they're very beautiful. And for the price, you can't beat that. I have a lot of ceramic measuring cups, and I've had my share of, of broken measuring cups that are so beautiful. So I wanted to just get some really regular basic ones. And then this is a white and silver whisk. It's very beautiful. I really love the white and silver look all the time. All the metals, metallics, you guys know I love the white and gold as well. But these were so affordable for $1.99. When it comes to cooking, I like to put my oils in beautiful bottles, and this one is no exception, $1.99 at the 99 cent store. And I think it's really lovely. It's tall and beautiful, very slender, slim look, but it could hold quite a bit. It's not like the regular size. It's a bigger one. I don't think I've ever seen this this tall one, but I am wearing, waiting for the square ones because I was really looking for the square ones, the either the the clear look or the amber. But for the price, you can't beat it until the other ones come out. Now look at these gorgeous pumpkins. Oh my goodness, $1.49. Now I didn't know they were $1.49. I thought they were 99 cents until I got home. But it is what it is. I think they're worth it. They're so classy and beautiful looking. They're so beautiful. Look how elegant they look. Now elegant and classy glam does not always mean glam and blingy. But this is more like, it could be a little bit on the farmhouse, maybe traditional. But it's still very elegant nevertheless. Look at this one. It has a lot of character. I don't know if it's wood or resin or what it is. But they're just lovely. And I just love the look. They came in different shapes. So I got one of each. So of course I had to get three. I love getting things in threes. And for the 99 cents I think that's a pretty good deal. Even though I feel like they should still be 99 cents. Because of the size just the, like the other pumpkins. But I, was, I would have bought them anyway because I think they're really classy and elegant looking. Look how pretty they look together. Oh my god, let's get to my favorite thing, which is decor. I found these at the 99 cent store. I have to be honest though, I thought they were so beautiful. But, you know, when I started seeing these in the videos... I really, you know, I said, okay, those are beautiful, but they're just not for me, the colors and all. But when I went to Hobby Lobby with my husband and we found these beautiful, gorgeous plates with the little blue truck, which I've shown you before, I just, everywhere I went now, I'm like detecting the teal blue truck. It's so beautiful now, the blue and the orange look. So I said, okay, I'm going to give it a whirl and see what comes out of that. Now, let me tell you, these don't match. This one's a little bit more on the sky blue, I guess. 
And but I loved it nevertheless because it's still in the same color family and I don't even know if I'm going to use them together to be honest, but I just really love them and it has like this little burlap bow on top. And you can hang them in a door, a window, a mirror, or you could just do a DIY. A lot of people just paint over these and make their own DIYs. Now, I'm not such a great DIYer, so I'll leave that up to you guys. But I do enjoy watching those videos. And maybe one of these years, how we'll try something. <laughs> we'll see. Although, I have been trying some. I feel like this one also justifies its price of $1.49. Because it's very big in size compared to the others. But it's very beautiful, too. Now, I'm not sure I like the stem too much, the actual little leaf, because it's kind of on the rustic. Which, there's nothing wrong with that. I just don't like it with this particular pumpkin. So, I love this pumpkin because it looks a little bit more glam, like pearlized look, like a pearl look. I don't know if pearlized is a, is a <laughs> word. But anyway, it looks like it's pearl, and I love it. I think it's got this really beautiful, glossy, almost like look. And it's beautiful. So, I'm going to ask my husband probably to spray paint the stem or the little leaf. And even the stem, maybe. We'll see. Let me tell you, when I found these, I was so happy because they look very, almost Halloweenish, I want to say, but also very elegant. Black and white is always very elegant with any color that you com combine it with, and it makes a great combo for any space. And oh my gosh, for a dollar, you can't beat that. They're so beautiful and very elegant looking, too, for just a dollar. Who knew a dollar could get you glam elegance? Well, I'm not sure if they're very glammy, but they have a high gloss sheen to them. So I guess I would qualify that as glammy. But I love that one is stripe and the other one is the, the dots. I've seen a different design, I think, in one of the videos, but I couldn't find it in my store when I went there. But I just love them, so I had to have them, of course. I must say I've been very frustrated with my fall tree. So today I decided it had so much orange and it was kind of getting discombobbled. So I'm going to straighten it up a little bit and sometimes you just have to start from scratch. I decided to place some of that uh, garland, the garland balls or ornament balls. And I thought they would look so beautiful. Look at my little birdies. You see my little bird, uh, little vignette there. But I wanted to make it more not so orange but more mustard yellowy if that makes sense and i wanted to add some blue so i added the little beads on the side and the top and i thought that was just barely enough because i didn't want to put like blue and orange all over my places but just a space designated for that color combo and i that was just enough for me so if you have like a color that you like that's coming out that's maybe trendy like the blue and the orange you don't have to go out and make like a whole tablescape or turn your whole living room into blue and orange but you could just have some little sprinkles of it together and that should satisfy your need and that way you don't get frustrated because a lot of times when trends come around I I tend to sometimes jump on that in the past look at this how pretty in the blue but um, then I find that I get frustrated because it really wasn't my look so I kind of understand that so that's why you know I decided to just make a little area like this and if you get tired of it in a week or two, then you can always just change it, take it down. And you'll still have those colors to, you know, make create something different in the future. But look at these here. Oh my goodness. This is my little glam elegant area in my credenza that you guys have seen that my hubby was so kind and generous to give me for our, our anniversary. This year, I showed it to you earlier, and I'm just so happy with it. It is just so beautiful. It's been my dream for like the past year or two. And he knew I wanted something like this. It's so beautiful. Now this area is also frustrating me because I feel like the, the garland is running into this mirror. So I feel like it's blending in too much. Like, you know, I need some color or something. Although I love the neutrals, don't get me wrong. But I try to do some <laughs> something up there with the orange. But it's just not jiving. You know how sometimes it's just a feeling. And if it doesn't feel right, it's just going to have to come off. Maybe I'll put it on this other mirror. Okay, friends, I need your input, so let me know down below if you guys like the white one up here or this one, or maybe not. Maybe I should just put these somewhere else. I don't know. I think I kind of went overboard with the garlands, and I bought this one last year, but the white one is from this year, and I was going to put it like on this mirror, but I feel like it's too small, the round one, and this one is just kind of not jiving either, so 
I'm kind of frustrating, although the color combo with the flowers and the wreath on the door really are going very cohesively as far as the color, but I'm not sure if I'm liking it. But you guys let me know down below. Anyway, so I'm getting ready to put away some cookies and I wanted to share that I am going to keep some of these jars, but just not in my cabinet. So I get these waffle cookies from Trader Joe's and they're so delicious. And I thought they would be perfect in here. And if I have some other different kind of cookies, I can always combine them in here. Do you guys combine your cookies? <laughs> as long as they're not like chocolatey or something. But if they're like in the same type of uh, family of cookies, you can always combine them. But they fit perfectly here. But I'm not going to place them back in here. So I'm just going to leave it as it is for now. I will work on this area another time because I'm really exhausted already just from directing what's going on here. So I did put a splash of color with that orange container, which I think it looks beautiful. So I thank you guys so much for watching. If you stayed this long, especially say I. And I'm going to share with you a little vignette of my bathroom. I had to put music because the fan is too loud in there. But I hope you enjoy.